Crafty friends, it's Kelly. Thanks for joining me. I am back with a new layout for the cut shop. For my layout today, I'm going to be using the zigzagged background cut file and the snow day background cut file. I do have a Cricut Design Space tutorial to start. And what I want to do is I want to remove the black background on that zigzagged cut file image. So I'm going to go over to the layers tab, click on the contour button, go back over to the cut file and click on the background area. And after I've done that, you can see that it's removed the black background and now only the chevrons are showing. Now I've inserted a couple shapes and I'm going to take a little time to slice out individual images within those cut files. So I am just taking the shape, laying it on top of the area of the cut file that I am wanting to slice out, selecting the shape and the cut file, and then going over to the slice button under the layers tab. I'm going to use three snowflakes on my layout today. So I am going to copy and paste that snowflake a couple more times. So there's three on the design screen. I'm going to move those out of the way and then I'm going to go back over to those chevrons. I'm going to use two chevrons on my layout, but I don't want them to be paired together. So I'm going to select the chevron images, go back over to the contour button, click on it, and then click on one of the chevrons and it will remove it. So now there is just a single chevron on the design screen. I had already done a little bit of work on my layout before I started working with the cut file images. So I know the size of the papers that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to insert a couple squares and then resize them to the same size that my papers are that I will be using on the layout. This will just give me a visual reference. So I know how large I need to size the cut file images. So now I'm going to start working on getting the sizes of the cut file images that I need. I'm going to drag them over to where I think I'm going to use them on the layout and then just use the arrow key in the bottom right hand corner to make them larger. I know that I want to use two chevrons, so I'm going to copy and paste that chevron. So there's two on the design screen now, but I want that chevron to be facing the opposite way. So I'm going to go to the edit tab and click on the mirror button and that's just going to flip the chevron around so it's facing the opposite direction. So now it's just all about getting the size correctly. So I'm just going to eyeball it, use the arrow key to make the images larger and smaller, just positioning them on the design screen where I think I'm going to be using them on my layout. Once I have them sized correctly, I'm going to delete those two rectangular shapes that I used as a reference for my paper size. And I know I'm going to be cutting these images on two different types of paper. So I need to change the color of the snowflakes so that Cricut Design Space recognizes that as a separate paper. So it will prompt me to load a second mat. So what I did was I just clicked on one of the images, changed the color, then went over to the sync tab and drug the other snowflakes down into that same tab. So they all changed to the same color. Now the paper that I'm going to be using to cut the snowflakes is a glitter cardstock. And one tip that I have for you when you're using specialty papers with the Cricut is to set the dial on the machine to custom. When you set the dial to custom, it's going to give you a drop down box on this screen here. And you can see when I click on it, there's a lot of different options. So make sure you're checking that out when you're using any type of specialty paper. I'm going to click on glitter cardstock and that will just ensure that I get a nice, clean, crisp cut. So here you can see how well those images cut on that glitter cardstock. And there's the two chevrons that I cut also. These are the two photos that I'm going to be using. They're relatively small. They're about two by three. So the papers that I'm using for my layout today are from the Snow Fun Collection by Simple Stories. And they came as part of a warehouse box that I had purchased last year. I can't remember if it was from the Simple Stories box or the Paper Issues box. But I absolutely love the papers, but I didn't have any ephemera that matched this collection. And the light blue in this collection is a very specific blue. All of the products that I had in my stash were either too bright or too dark. So I was having a hard time coming up with a way to use these papers since I didn't have any of the ephemera. But this is why I love cut files. They can be used in so many different ways. For instance, I took these two background cut file images and sized them down to use as ephemera pieces. So that's something to always keep in mind when you're looking at cut files is to use them in different ways and be creative with them. You don't have to necessarily use a background cut file as a background image. Okay, so let's get back to the layout. I want to lighten up this wood grain paper. So I am just using white acrylic paint and a wide paintbrush and just adding a white wash right on top of the wood grain. And I come in a couple different times with a couple coats of paint just to get it to the right thickness and to make sure that the color was as bright as I wanted it to be. 
I've really been enjoying using acrylic paints on my layouts lately. I like the color that it adds and I like the texture that it brings and it's just a fun element to add to a layout. Okay, so once I'm happy with the paint, I'm gonna bring in my pattern papers, and those are actually two four by six pieces from the cut apart sheet, and I'm going to layer them on top of each other. And you saw earlier in the video that I added a white border to my photos, and next I'm gonna bring in some vellum and add another layer behind the photos, just for a little added interest and a little extra texture. Okay, so I've jumped ahead a little bit. It took me a little time to get the vellum trimmed down exactly how I wanted behind the photos, but I do have a white cardstock mat and a vellum mat behind both of the photos now, and I'm going to start bringing in other elements to the layout. The Winter Memories is going to be the title for my layout, and that also comes from one of the cut apart sheets. I'm going to add a little bit more color behind that second photo by bringing in a couple more of the cut apart pieces, and I'm going to layer those on top of each other just to mimic the layers that I have going on behind the photo that I will position towards the top of the layout. So in just a moment, I'm going to decide that I want to add a little bit more texture to the background of the layout. So I'm going to bring in a dot stencil and whipped spackle texture paste and just add some dots in the corners of the layout. I don't have this whole part on video because my battery actually died as I was doing this, but I really like how the dots represent snow falling, which fits in great with the theme that I have going on with this layout. These photos were taken a couple years ago during a snowstorm and Aiden's actually throwing snowballs in both of the photos. So I just really like the added texture it brings and the visual interest. It's hard to see on camera, but you can see it in person and you will see it in the close-ups at the end. So now I'm just going to start working on adhering everything down. I do use liquid adhesive to adhere everything to the layout. There's so much texture on that background with the acrylic paint and the texture paste that I knew tape runner adhesive just would not hold up, that it would not stay attached to the layout for very long. So I felt like liquid adhesive was the way to go. I did add my journaling to that 4x6 card using my We Are Memory Keepers typecast typewriter. So I'm really liking how this is turning out. I was a little worried when I first got these papers that they would end up sitting in my stash for a long time because I didn't have any of the ephemera, but the cut files were a perfect substitution and I'm just really, really pleased with how this all comes together. So in just a moment, I'm gonna bring the layout closer to the camera so you can get a better look at those dots that I added using the whip spackle texture paste. So here you can see them. They are very subtle, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want them to stand out too much, but I really like the added texture that it brings. Now I wanna add a little something extra to the layout. So I'm trying to decide between enamel dots or if I want to use some of the dots from this thicker pack. These are the dots that you could use above the I's or the J's and I'm just using them as enamel dots. So just spreading them around the layout in different areas. I decided to go with those instead of the enamel dots because the silver matched the glitter cardstock perfectly. So here are my still shots. Make sure you remember to head over to the cut shop. It is linked in the description below. You can check out all the cut files that are available. I'll be back again very soon with another layout and another process video. Thanks so much for watching.